Okay, so we will start variant configuration. So many times, because this is my personal experience, okay, even I'm working in the SAP industry since the last 16 years, I never get a chance, get, get, get chance to implement the VC in any company, okay. Whatever project I did that is in the discrete manufacturing and there were no VC or variant configuration. But in my last two projects, actually, I got a chance to look into variant configuration. And uh, many times personally also, I seen like many PP consultants, okay, they don't have that much experience on the variant configuration. Sometimes whenever during interview question also, I used to ask about the VC, they used to tell, okay, we do have some basic knowledge about that, but I never implemented. And when we are asking some detailed questions about the super bomb or something, they will, they, they will not be able to answer it correctly because they never implemented maybe or they maybe never you know used uh, or work on that kind of scenario so the same same situation with me okay i also never work on vc but in last two projects as i say you discussed earlier also i got a chance to work on a vc and i will try to explain the standard vc and these things as the same time i'll also try to explain you what kind of scenario actually we are mapping over here i mean it's an interesting one that's why i would like to share that uh, experience with you okay so normally what happened we see variant configuration okay is used for manufacturing okay the complex product if i'm saying complex product it doesn't mean it's a very complex in the manufacturing process or something complex means complex in a blob material okay or complex in the manufacturing process if i'm you know, uh, manufacturing the same product with little variation, I may have a different deal of material. And if I'm manufacturing the same product with little variation, I may have a different production line for that, or I may have a different uh, routing for that. So to manufacture the same product, let's say I'm having so many variations. In that case, I, as per standard SAP or as per standard, what we have discussed as of now, we may need to create a different finished product, maybe thousands of different finished product. And then we may need to create a thousands of different bill of material, thousands of different routings, PV, and then one by one, we can go and start the, start, start the production for that. At the same time, when customer is giving the requirement for that product, okay, he may need to choose the exact variant or exact combination of that uh, manufacturing process and bill of material process to tell us so that manufacturing process can start what exactly customer is looking for. In that kind of scenario, that's what I call it as a complex work. In that kind of scenario, normally we used to implement VC. So uh, if you take uh, uh, example of car manufacturing company or uh, bike manufacturing company or uh, laptop, laptop is one of the common example, okay? Then uh, <clears throat> mobile also, right? Then also if you uh, TV fridge, that kind of companies, if the same TV with different variant you can, you are getting. So that kind of manufacturing company or that kind of manufacturing process usually mapped with the VC, okay? So normally what happen, any new variant is coming, okay? New variant is coming, it will be uh, created as a same, same by, by modifying, okay? by modifying the existing manufacturing process or existing bill of material, existing design, I'll say here. So let's say there is a one, one, one of the variant in the car manufacturing company you usually see, right? If Hyundai is manufacturing one product, let's say Hyundai i20, okay? And uh, the variant going on, they do have a standard variant, Magna, Asta, and something else. So then they came to know, okay, there is a less sell of for that specific variant. They need to do some modifications over there, right? So instead of doing the modification in the same product, what they uh, the, the company used to do, company used to launch a new variant for that. Although all the BLOP material, okay, mostly BLOP material will be same for that with little modifications. Now in that case, as per standard SAP or as per discrete manufacturing scenario, we may need to create a separate new product with new material code, again, new wheel of material, new routing, everything, right? And then we can go and uh, uh, start the production. But in this case, the new variant are created by modifying the existing design, mostly the bill of metal component will be same and it will help us to reach quickly to the customer requirement instead of going in, uh, you know, all this 
uh, steps in the uh, in the configuration. So mostly, we call it as the same bill of material, okay, which helps us to reach customer quickly, customer requirement. So these kind of scenario we usually you know map with the help of variant configuration. So today what we will do, okay, we when we are talking about VC, it's a very vast topic, okay. And to get a better understanding, if we will start working with one of the business case or business scenario, it will be easy for us to understand. So today, as I said, laptop manufacturing company is one of the very common. So today what we will do, we will try to get, uh, try to, you know, map one of the scenario for the laptop. And we'll try to understand how uh, VC will get mapped or how, how VC will get mapped in case of uh, make to order scenario or make to stock scenario or something, okay? So what I will do, we will take an example of one of the laptop manufacturing. So my laptop, the system which I am showcasing you is Lenovo, okay? Lenovo Yoga. So this is the new series that Lenovo launched recently, okay? And in this Lenovo Vega, we do have a different kind of variations based on based on uh, ram correct i'll put here ram i'll put a couple of exam uh, these things so that we will be able to understand ram and uh, hard disk so i'll put here hdd then processor right so i'll put here processor processor and uh, okay and let's say color so based on these different characteristics we do have various combination within the lenovo vega yoga okay so what what are these combination like in the ram if we are talking about we do have 4 gb ram we do have 8 gb ram we do have 16 GB RAM. Same way in case of HDD, we do have uh, 128 GB HDD. We do have, uh, uh, what, sorry, I'll put like this so that I know it too. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what is that? Uh, 128 is there, 256 is there, there, let's say. 512 is there, let's say, right? Same way in case of processor, we have Core i7, right? And also we have Core i5, 